Hi, this is Dr. Dave again, and in this video I want to show you how you can take a graph that you've created in Desmos and then paste it into the Canvas discussion board. We're going to try two different ways of doing this, and I don't really care which way you choose to do this. One way is to go ahead and to take the graph and to save it as a picture on your hard drive and then upload that back into the Canvas discussion board. In the second way, you're going to go ahead and log into Desmos. Uh, you'll have to have created an account at Desmos to do that. And once you've done that, you can take the embed code for the graph and paste that into Canvas. So you should have already have graphed a line. Here's my line. It's y equals 10x plus 12. And I want to save that to my hard drive initially and then go ahead and upload that into Desmos. So the way you do that is you go up to this button up here that says Share Graph. Click on it, and it's going to say, ah, you can share this link, you can copy a link and send it to someone, you can export the image, or you can embed the image. We're going to start out and try Export Image. So I'm going to click on the Export Image link. It's going to give me some options here about the size. I can do all sorts of different sizes here, but I'm going to go with the medium square. I can have different line thicknesses on my graph, and I'm going to go ahead and use medium. Once I'm happy with those options, I'll go ahead and click download PNG, which is a ping file. That's just a type of image file. And when I do that, you'll see down here that it's downloading this into my download folder. In Windows, that's what it's called. In other operating systems, it might be called something else. In any case, make sure you know exactly where that's being saved. So it's called here desmos-graph3.png. Now once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and get into the discussion board. So here's an example of a discussion board. And you're going to be saving your graph in a discussion board post for your team. So you're going to click Add Discussion if you don't see a discussion for your team. You're going to call it Dueling Lines and then your team number. I'm going to use Team 0 here. I'll go down below and I'm going to say this is the graph of y equals 10x plus 12. Hit a carriage return and now I need to go ahead and paste my graph inside of there. So if you look along here there is a button that says embed image. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and say the image source is in Canvas. But before I do that I need to upload the image. I'm going to click on My Files and then Upload File. Now I can go to my download folder, which is right here, and look for Desmos Graph 3. That's the one that I just saved. And click Open. That's going to go ahead and upload it. And now that it's uploaded, I can go ahead and actually insert that by clicking on Update. That pastes the graph in there. You can see it, but that's a monstrous size graph. So let me click on it, grab the edge, and then make it a little bit smaller. So I'll have what my equation of my line is, and then the line below it. You'll scroll down, click Save and Publish, and that goes ahead and makes it available for everyone to see in the discussion board. Now, there's an alternate way you can go ahead and do this, and I'm going to go ahead and do that in a reply here. So I'm going to click on Reply, scroll down so I can type in some text, and again, I'm going to say this is the graph of y equals 10x plus 12, and then go down below it with a carriage return. Within Desmos, I need to go over and go to that same Share button. But before I can share it, I first have to log in. 
And logging in is nice because it allows you to go ahead and save your graph and come back to it later on. So right now I'm already logged in because it says Dave here. But if you click on here, there'll be an option here to sign in. There'll also be a, an option to create an account. Those accounts are free. And so go ahead and do that if you want to be able to save graphs and things like that. But once you do, you can come over to where it says Untitled Graph and say, ah, Dueling Desmos or something like that, part one. Click Save. And now when you come back to Desmos later on and log in, you'll be able to get back to any of the things that you've already saved. All right, so now let's go to that Share button. I'm going to go to where it says Embed. Go down and right click and say Copy. That's going to come take that embed information and copy it into the clipboard. And now I'll go back to my uh, discussion board. And where you see HTML editor, I'm going to click on that. Go down below this, right mouse click, and paste in that embed code. That's the information that will link it into Desmos into your account. Click on the rich content editor, and there you will see that same graph again. Once you've gone ahead and got that the way you want it, go ahead and click Post Reply. And now you'll see here is the original post that I made. And here's the second one that I made. One was with taking the graph off my hard drive. The other one was with an embed code. I only need you to do one of these things for this technology assignment. So pick the one that makes more sense to you and go ahead and do that.